Hello, and in this video, I'm going to share with you my top five tips for enjoying a cracking ride. Sometimes we forget the basics, so I'm going to share with you what I do to prepare for my perfect ride. Let's get into it, and let's prepare for tip one, which is getting everything ready. So, tip one, failing to prepare is preparing to fail. So, have all your kit somewhere easily at hand where you can just go and grab it. I have mine in boxes in the cupboard so I can just go and grab what I need for the ride. So, I've checked the weather, tomorrow it's going to be cold, so I've got my normal cycling shoes because they're the one that fit me the best. Overshoes, jersey, is a mountain bike jersey, it's going to be cold tomorrow so it'd be nice to have something a bit extra. Maybe a t-shirt as well. My tights, I've got a nice warm jacket. My flask, a water bottle, I've got my sunglasses, my riding glasses with the dark lenses in, helmet, standard for every ride, I've got some snacks, I've got my gloves and I've also got some cash. So that's how I prepare prior to the ride. It might be the night before or it might be the morning if I'm not going in the evening. But I just like to have everything at hand so then when I come home from work I can just put my gear on and out the door I go. And likewise in the morning, I'm not running around getting stressed. Tomorrow morning, I can get up, come down, put my gear on, out the door we go. In the meantime, off to bed. I'll see you in the next scene, where we'll do tip two. So tip two, check your bike, do a bolt check, check your tyres are alright, check the tyre pressures are alright. Make sure the chain's alright. If you used anything on your last ride, just uh, make sure it's all been replaced. So, any quick links, inner tubes, punch repair, patches, kits, whatever you use, uh, just make sure it's all there. Last thing you want is to come unstuck when you're out on the hills, just like I am right now. Another top tip is to make sure that your bike's clean. As you can see, mine isn't. I've been using it to commute this week and the weather's been pretty bad. And when you clean it, it gives you an opportunity to check that anything needs tightening, any bolts, anything like that. Just give your bike once over, and then you know you're good to go on your next ride. Tip number three. Coming up once again up this flipping hill. <sighs> Tip three. So, have a route in mind. Now, there's plenty of apps out there that you can use, Commute, Strava, loads of other different ones. And what I tend to do is pick a route, pick somewhere that I want to go to and just let it auto pick the route and just put your miles in, whether you want uh, hilly, flat. Now today's route is the Whistling Tree, so let's get over there and show you that, because I've never been here before myself. Well, that's something I've never seen before, uh, practicing with the sheepdogs. See them over there. Gathering the sheep. How cool is that? Yeah, that's as stable as I can get. The wind's rocking that. Look at that. That is mega. How the bloody uh, the shepherd, as they called, heard the uh, which with a whistle and the dog knows what to do. somewhere you've never been before and you see a site like that you can't hear it well I don't know whether it's been picked up or not and it's and look at the views from there absolutely spectacular just amazing this is one reason why I love cycling just to get out places like this that you never would normally come although maybe for the walk but it's not as good travelling in the car much better on the bikes when you know that your own legs have got you there no better feeling. Now, I forgot to mention, uh, when I plan these rides, I upload it to my Garmin. Now you can use a Wahoo, uh, which I have used, cracking unit, can't go wrong. The Garmin, I'm a little bit like out of the minute, still finding my way around. 
you can use your phone just make sure you take a battery charger with you because you don't want to get caught out and have no battery left uh, many different devices out there but well worth getting to plan your rides on just so you can get to places like this absolutely stunning makes the ride all the worthwhile now I'm going to have a coffee have a quick snack and then we'll uh, we'll get on to tip 4 when I get down off this hill but beautiful absolutely beautiful side offer is maybe go and sign up with the cycling club they know all the routes they're usually guided there's some nice people within them groups that you can go and ride with um, and it's nice when you're just going up a climb and you're really not feeling it if you've got someone there with you who's the same fitness level you can have a chat passes the time and before you know it you're up the mill and it's just a good way of getting to know people within the community another good way of getting to know people people to go out and ride with is going on Facebook and chatting to people. One of my good friends, Phil Cromber, that's how I got chatting to him was through Facebook. Can't remember exactly how, but I've been friends with him now for a couple of years and we're really good mates. Uh, then there's Lee as well. I got chatting to him on Facebook. So yeah, one good way of meeting people, give you more motivation to go out on a ride is just go and signing up because some of my best rides have always been with my mates. As much as I enjoy riding on my own, it is nice to ride with other people. Right, tip five. Let's, uh, let's crack on while I think about it. <laughs> so, I've just got in. I'm going to go and get a shower. While I'm doing that, consider pressing that subscribe button on this channel. I do road riding videos, mountain bike videos, and go to trail centres and different downhill bike parks. And I sometimes go out riding with my boys. Well, I go out riding with boys quite a lot. So do consider pressing that subscribe button. I'll be back in a minute, a little less sweater, and then I'll give you tip five. Tip number five, now I'm clean. I hope you've all pressed that subscribe button. So tip number five, don't ever beat yourself up for the amount of miles that you've done. If you've ever spent any length of time off the bike, or through injury or whatever, for whatever reason, and then you go back out, and whereas in the past you might have done 50, 60 miles and thought nothing of it, and then after 10, 20 miles you're absolutely knackered, don't beat yourself up about it. Remember, it's just riding your bike. It's not a live or die thing. What I do, if I've spent any length of time off the bike, is I go out, I do a route, and that's my benchmark and then I improve upon that. It's very easy to get caught up in the trap of, oh, I must do this and I must do that. Ultimately, it's just riding your bike. When we was kids, we weren't bothered about anything like that. It was just a case of, let's go out and play out on our bikes. And ultimately, that's what we're doing. We're just playing out on our bikes, just having fun. The main thing is, is getting out there and enjoying the great outdoors. I hope you've enjoyed this video my top five this is my top five it might be right it might be wrong this is just what i do if i'm struggling to get out on the bike it's just things i like to have in place just so that when i do go out it makes things easy so i'm not running around stressing so then when i'm out on the bike i can have more fun and i'm not in the bad head space it just makes things a lot more simple and then i get out and have fun I go and play out on my bikes with my mates that's the end of the video. I hope you enjoyed it and I hope you have pressed that subscribe button. Until the next one, take care, have fun and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.